Hey everybody, second video of the day. After I made the mammoth video from a few days ago, I had some messages from some people in Wisconsin, and this is a site I have looked into before. So I thought I'd make a video about this while it's fresh on my mind again. This is just southwest of Kenosha, Wisconsin, near the little town of Paris. This is called the Schaefer Kill site. It was right down here in 1964 that a farmer hired a gentleman to put in a tile drainage line and his excavating equipment stumbled across a mammoth bone. There's a couple other sites in the nearby vicinity. One about three quarters of a mile away. There's another site called the Mud Lake Mammoth. But the Schaefer site right down here, there is a sign, a location marker. It's right down here. Why don't we go take a look? Now right off of this lonely country road, right in this little group of trees, there is a sign right back there. I think it's right there. Why don't we read that? Here's the official Wisconsin marker, Schaefer Mammoth site. Over 12,000 years ago, Native Americans slaughtered a northern woolly mammoth in a small lake near the site. Between 1992 and 93, the Kenosha Public Museum excavated the site and concluded that the woolly mammoth stood at 11 feet and weighed 14,000 pounds or seven tons. This mammoth, or Ice Age elephant, lived among spruce trees and vegetation during the Pleistocene glacial epoch. The Schaefer Mammoth Site is one of the oldest mammoth discoveries in the New World, definitively proving that people hunted mammoth east of the Mississippi River. And I think this was the first mammoth found that showed signs of human butchering, and that was found east of the Mississippi. Here is an article from archaeology.org. The first Americans is Schaefer and the Hebor Kill sites, and that is the name of the site located within a mile of the Schaefer location. It says, in 1964, while draining the marshy field on the Schaefer farm an hour north of Chicago, an earth mover jolted to a halt when it struck a buried mammoth femur, throwing its operator from his seat. The mammoth remains would end up in the nearby Kenosha Public Museum. More than 20 years later, an amateur archaeologist noticed cut marks on another set of mammoth bones in the museum's collection, indicating they had been butchered. That prompted archaeologist Dan Joyce, a museum's director, to reinvestigate the Schaefer site. Beginning his investigations in 1992, he found under two and a half feet of ancient soils roughly 80% of a completely butchered mammoth. It says Joyce also found fragments of two stone blades with the remains. Preliminary dating says the bones are roughly 13,000 years old. We had a Clovis site, or so we thought we had a Clovis site, Joyce said. But when the bones were redated the next year using more sophisticated technique, that purified the collagen protein in them. That assessment went out the window. The new dates came back clustered around 14,500 years ago, making this one of the more ancient sites in the United States where we have evidence of humans and megafauna. Here is one of the more recent news stories on this find. It says mammoth discovery still impacting Kenosha County more than 50 years later. They have a video here. Let's just listen. Our next story takes us back to the 1960s when someone digging a trench at a Kenosha County farm unearthed the first remains of what would eventually become a mammoth discovery. The find and others like it nearby unlock secrets to the area's past and now more than five decades later continue to generate interest. Here's Jacqueline Abad. In the small town of Paris, Wisconsin, with a population of about 1,500 people. There are dairy farms owned and operated by families for generations. But it's known for much more than just fields of corn grown in this soil. It's what was found beneath the soil that makes this town truly world-renowned. The tusks come out both sides. Meet archaeologist Dan Joyce. He's also the executive director of the Kenosha Public Museum. They we're standing in front of a replica of the Hebeer Mammoth, which is one of two mammoths that were excavated in Kenosha County um, quite a few years ago now. Hebeer is the largest and most complete mammoth excavated in North America. But the discovery of the Hebeer Mammoth started with the Schaefer Mammoth. That was the first bone found in 1964. That and a few pieces of ivory. The drainage tile is going through here. A farmer named Frank Schaefer hired a contractor to cut a drainage tile ditch through his field when the worker banged into a woolly mammoth's femur. Amateur archaeologist Phil Sander 
went out there to the Schaefer site in 1964 when that first bone came up, and he made a map. And it had distances and bearings and landmarks, uh, and it was a wonderful map that allowed us to go back. Star marks the spot where the bones were found. Joyce was working with an amateur archaeologist when they decided to go back to the farm almost 30 years later. And within three days of excavating, we found our first bone. It was like finding a needle in a haystack, but with this map, it led them to what they were looking for. Which was fairly small. It was only probably like that big, uh, but it was uh, from the rear ankle. And um, we knew we were onto a mammoth because that particular bone in a human is only about that big. <laughs> so large size difference. Uh, one third. This is what the excavation site looked like. And they found about 80% of the Schaefer mammoth. This animal was hunted. Uh, there were butcher marks, there were stone tools, there was a bone pile. All of the bones were separated from each other uh, in an unnatural fashion, uh, except for two vertebrae, which were still stuck together. Uh, so this animal was killed, butchered uh, extensively. A year later, about three quarters of a mile away, Great Lakes Archaeological Research Center excavated the Hebeer mammoth. People start to realize there are mammoths in their backyards, uh, and they're not very far below the surface. It's pretty fascinating. They are two of the three oldest archaeological sites in the Western Hemisphere. 25 years of analysis and publications by myself and a lot of other colleagues, um, these two are accepted as being 1,500 years older than the ones out west. Um, there are only six sites in the Western Hemisphere, so the western half of the world, that are this old, and two of them are Schaefer and Hebe Mammoths. Today, if you drive by, you can find this landmarker tucked away commemorating this huge discovery. Here's a PDF. I will leave this link below, but it talks about the early sites in the United States. I go back over 13,000 years. I have talked about just about every one of these, I believe. But here is the Schaefer and Hebor, Wisconsin site that is listed amongst these. Here is a look at the Hebor mammoth skeleton. And there was, I guess, over a dozen mammoths found in this area around Kenosha. But it says there, what was the biggest animal to live in Wisconsin? Well, that will give you a good look right there at the skeleton at least. Now, going back to this archaeology.org article, it shows some pics here from these other sites that are over 13,000 years old in the Americas. And it says, if the analysis wasn't enough to convince Joyce, what was found three quarters of a mile away at the Hebor farm confirmed it. There, in 1994, a team led by David Overstreet, an archaeologist at Marquette University in Milwaukee, found 90% of a similarly butchered mammoth, and those dated to 150 to 200 years before the Schaefer bones. Both Schaefer and Hebor are pre-Clovis, but they're a Clovis substance style. So they're almost bridging the gap, says Joyce, referring to the Clovis people reputation as hunters of mammoths, bison, and other big game. Are they more properly called proto-Clovis, something that develops into the Clovis? So those are good questions to ask. But in another article, Joyce said that we have evidence that the Clovis were hunting some of the megafauna, a few different species but they have no evidence of overhunting. I think that is important to mention. This also brings up the question of how far south the ice cap was 14 and a half thousand years ago. I think there's a lot of unanswered questions from that time period. That is a video on very ancient America, the Schaefer Mammoth site discovered in 1964. A couple other sites mentioned, but this is one of the older sites in the ancient United States. We have megafauna. Humans existing, 14 and a half thousand years old. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.